Hi, I'm Jill Scott. Hi, I'm Ellen White. And, and this, this is Questions. Questions. Who would you least like to sit next to on a 15 hour flight? Okay, it has to be someone really chatty, so it probably would be you, Jill. <laughs> Someone really chatty and annoying. What was your initiation song? Was music out then? <laughs> no, I just had to do it on the recorder actually. <laughs> uh, my initiation song, I think it's What Makes You Beautiful by One Direction. Oh. Um, I'm pretty cheesy, as you know, I like pop music, One Direction. I feel like everyone kind of knows that song. Was this initiation for club? Yes. Yeah. Maybe we need to do initiations for Team GB. Yeah, that'd be good. Would you rather play against a team of Ellen White or a team of Jill Scott? <laughs> That's a very good question. <laughs> I think I'd rather play against a team of Jill Scott. I'm trying to think how to answer really? this because if I played against a team of Ellen White, I'd score a lot of goals past us. <laughs> so I'd definitely lose. <laughs> Okay. I think I'd be different. I yeah. don't think I'd want to play against you. Really? I think it'd be really hard. They'd probably all just be having a laugh. <laughs> It'd be too much noise. <laughs> Who would win in a race, Carl Walker or Lauren Hemp? Oh, that's a great one. I, I want to say Lauren Hemp. <laughs> I want to. But obviously, the physicality of a male, Carl Walker, yeah. I think he probably would nick it. Yeah. Um, but Hempo is rapid. To be fair, Carl Walker is probably one of the quickest meal yeah. players, so you've probably... It would be good to watch, though. Yeah. Let's get another FA TV exclusive <laughs> of that race. Who's the best young talent in the squad? Well, Hemp is obviously young still, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, I think Lauren Hemp's probably been the biggest one, just yeah. for, like, how she's emerged onto yeah. the scene and then what she's achieved yeah. and uh, I think she doesn't realise how no, good she, she is no. which I think is what makes her her yeah. but Lauren if you're watching you're fantastic and we love you so much because you because you, you provide Ellen with goals yes she does <laughs> okay if you had to swap positions with the person opposite who would get on better oh in Do terms of if I went to play up front yeah. oh, definitely you I'd, I was playing five aside today, our team won, but I don't think I scored a goal, so I don't think you'd want a number nine. <laughs> I can't talk about today's small side, it just makes me angry, but I'm really, I'm really proud of you for winning, obviously. I um, think you'd be alright in midfield, though, because you've got an engine, you can head. I think I'd strong. be one that would just, like, just pass it and then I'd just get I, I, I'm not fancy. What do you think I do? <laughs> I've made you've got some decent, like, you're, you're, like, you're technically very gifted, uh, I think I just need to control it and just pass it. Mm. I think definitely you'd get on better in midfield though because as I say having a number nine that can't score would not be yeah but you, are, you <laughs> not might be just be smashing thing. him in top bins every time yeah maybe because you, you're timing getting in the box and stuff maybe heading maybe. off the crosses shall we try and do it in training yeah shall we we'll have a little switch yeah your all time favourite England footballer so you know like when yeah. you were younger and yeah. stuff who was it um, Gary Lineker was it yeah Ah, oh, that's um, interesting. He was a, a great goal scorer, a bit yeah. of a poacher. Never got a yellow card. Did he not? Yeah, no. Oh. I can't really say that, but something to aspire to me, but I didn't really, I failed at that one. Yeah. Who would yours be? Um, it's mad how you actually do look at players in your position. Like, I think one of the best midfielders ever, and God, I don't play anything like him, but Paul Scholes, yeah. I think, so good, yeah. so good. But I think because he was quite a quiet character off the pitch. Mm, quite shy, wasn't he? Yeah, I don't think people, like, he ever probably got the credit mm. he deserved, but yeah, yeah so good. Um, and then Gerard as yeah. well. I just think he was box-to-box -box midfielder, and but then his goal-scoring record, yeah. it was nearly as good as, like, the number nine. Yeah, the strikers, yeah. So, yeah. Who would you least like to sit next to on a 15-hour flight? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Deserve <a> for you. <laughs> uh, that's a good one, actually. Okay, it'd have to be someone really chatty, so it probably would be you, Jill. <laughs> someone really chatty and annoying, um, yeah. so honestly. Be like, what are you doing you? now? What are you doing yeah. now? What are you doing now? What are you doing What movie are you watching? Maybe like one of the coaches, because I feel like they'd want to talk football and I just mm. wouldn't. Yeah. Not for 15 hours. Yeah, I think they'd have their laptop out and analysing, watching games, and I'd be like, Pfft. yeah. Rather watch Bridesmaids on the on the plane, to be honest. That is true. 
Who would win a lioness's version of Big Brother? Why should us all in a house in that proximity? Find me. I think who the fans. I think yeah. the fans would probably take to like Millie and Rach. I think. Yeah. I think so. Their um, positivity. They're absolute bonkers. I think they'd end up having. You know, when they have like Team Jedward, it'd be like Team Really. It'd <laughs> go viral. There'd be T-shirts and everything. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I reckon Rach and Millie. Yeah, that's a good one. I do think this is actually a hard one, to be honest. Who's got the worst fashion sense but think they are cool? Actually, I know the answer to this. Do you? Have a little think. Well, I don't have any fashion sense, to be honest, so... I, I do know, I do know, but I don't want to say. <laughs> I don't want to say. <laughs> I think, like, Georgia Stanway, uh, when yeah. she's got With a bucket hat on. <laughs> I feel like she thinks she's cool. <laughs> Yeah, with like high tops, all their trainers on. Butcher's looking more like Liam Gallagher, I think. Um, to be fair, we're, we're, we're probably in next, just getting a pair of jeans yeah, and a t-shirt. If anyone wants to give me some clothes, that'd be fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not a memory I like to think about often. Uh, it's a picture that comes up quite a lot on my photos, is a ridiculous snapback that I got in Canada. Decided to wear it backwards, even off to the side. Thought I was really cool and it was a it wasn't one of my favourite moments to think about, really. Why did no one say anything, though? <laughs> I think because we're all on the same board. I think I, just, I, think I just judge everyone else for not saying you look ridiculous. Funniest memory on an England camp that we might not know. Well, we had quite a funny, a funny thing happen just the other day, <laughs> which could go down as a memory in a few years' yeah, time. But it's in the memory bank. Basically, we were paddle boarding as a team activity, which was brilliant. Yeah. It was going so well. And right at the end, I thought, oh, I haven't had much drama, which isn't ever the no. case. And suddenly, I whacked into a tree, was trying to hang on to this tree for dear life. Carly was offering no help whatsoever. No. And at the last moment that I got my foot on the board, the tree just snapped. And I think my head actually did go in the water. So that was quite funny. I was crying. Um... <laughs> There was, there was a funny memory of 2015 when we went to a water park and Tony Duggan got into a slide that kind of did this circle, but for some reason there wasn't enough water going and, and she got stuck. Halfway. Come back down and they had to release her through the emergency, <laughs> the emergency door of the slide. So yeah, that was very, yeah, that, that was funny. That was one of yeah. the funniest things as well.